What up, YouTube? How are we feeling today? Hope you're doing great. Hope you're doing fantastic. Back with another Division 2 video. It's Wednesday, so we're gonna have a look at the Cassie reset and see what she sells us this week. And this is the last vendor of this vendor reset. So let's dive right into Cassie. And there we are. And the designated hitter and the punch drunk are for sale here again. If you want to pick them up, definitely pick them up at Cassie as they are for sale at the countdown vendor but this only sets you back in game money and then of course go for this almost god roll punch drunk mask 13.8 percent weapon damage 20 percent headshot damage and maxed out critical hit chance of six percent this is again just like yesterday the best buy of the week Going over to the Shield Splinterer, this comes with 12.6% Assault Rifle, 16.5% Health, and 13% Swap Speed. And then of course with Perfect Optimus as a talent on there. Hunter Killer, Armor, Skill Damage, Hazard Protection, and then Perfect Intimidate because it's the named Golden Gear chest. Not really a great buy if you ask me. If you don't see the Shield Splinter or if you don't see the Hunter Killer, that means that you need to take out all the Hunters that the game has to offer. For the Shield Splinter, you need to take out all the Year 1 Hunters. When you took them out, they will drop 8 keys for you. With those 8 keys, you can open up a box in the White House. When you open this box up, the Shield Splinter will always be for sale at Cassie Mendoza. Same for the Hunter Killer, but now take out all the Year 2 Hunters. These are the Hunters that were added to the game with Warlords of New York's expansion. Take them out, they will drop 8 keys for you as well. Open up the box in Haven. After you open this box up, the Hunter Killer will always be for sale at Cassie Mendoza. Jumping over to the backpack of True Patriot. Armor and health on there. Then over to the Striker's chest. 14% weapon damage and some repair skills. This could be a very nice buy if you're still looking for a high weapon damage striker chest. And then roll the repair skills away for critical hit chance or critical hit damage, whatever your build needs. Jumping over to the gloves of striker. 12.8% weapon damage and 6% weapon handling. Decent buy, so you could pick it up, but it's pretty easy to find the weapon damage around at 12.8%. Knee pads of Aces. 13.7% weapon damage and 7.2% headshot damage. Again, a pretty decent buy. Then over to hardwired skill tier and repair skills, mask of striker. And this is again a nice buy. 4.9% critical hit chance already on there. So this gives you the opportunity, for example, to roll that core attribute away for some armor core. Then you only have to optimize 1.1% critical hit chance to max this out. And then you might want to have this for, for example, a PvP build. Or if you want to go for a little bit more armor on your striker build. This is definitely, definitely a good buy as well. Classic RPK comes with Vindictive as a talent, health damage, damage to armor and LMG damage. Police MK17, rifle damage, critical hit damage, rate of fire, and it comes with fast hand as the talent. Then over to the Araldi chest, weapon damage, health, arm regeneration, and focus as the talent. Mask of Fenris, weapon damage, critical hit chance, skill haste, and then over to the mods, 5% critical hit chance, and the last one, 14.7% in share health. But yeah guys, that's pretty much it for the vendor reset. This was the last one with Cassie Mendoza, of course. Yesterday I showed you all the other vendors and what's for sale there. And this week we could pick up a few nice pieces. Especially that close to God roll punch drunk mask. And a few nice striker pieces. But that's pretty much it guys. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to smash that like button. Hit that subscribers button and of course that notification bell. Pure Prime out.